What's up YouTube, welcome back to another video. And this video is something different again. This is just me, you know, what I do to sell my sneakers, you know, where I go, how do I post them, you know, the type of pictures the apps want. So, you know, us, the consumers know how the shoe are. And like always, before I get to the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram. That's where I usually, you know, post my video before it, the YouTube actually tells you and don't forget to follow me on Twitter I'm always spamming the Twitter thing so you most likely see my YouTube link there now in the video and the screen recording you'll be seeing I'm going to the go app because this is where this is where I usually sell my VNDS you know worn a couple times sneakers and you see I have a I have one pair I think yeah just one pair that's DS I assume I can get a better, you know, price on there because I know StockX be taxing sometimes. But I see in Go, once you sell a couple sneakers, they lower the the fee percentage. Now, as I go to the screen recording, you can see I have several pairs up there. You can see the prices I put them up for. If you know another app or another website that you know is similar to Go that allows you to sell DVNDS, U sneakers, DS brand new sneakers, whatever. And the fees aren't so bad. I know the fees is like 9.5%, so that's not too bad. I know StockX is a little more, plus they don't allow you to sell new sneakers. So you have a website or an app that, you know, the fees are more or less the same. Comment, comment that down below. I would like to know. I'm always exploring other websites. My experience with GOAT, I've sold several sneakers, maybe under 10, but definitely over 7. They, you know, it's a really quick process, you know, once you find the reasonable price you put and then once someone obsessed the price then well obviously you know package the shoe whatever you send them out and maybe four or five days after that that's when they tell you the payment you know is on the way and then a day after that is when you get your, you actually get your payment which isn't too bad because i i know especially now i know StockX taking maybe a week maybe even more especially with the covid going on so that's another reason why i like go when it comes to used sneakers i also in the past have you know gone to those consignment shops i know a couple i know i mentioned a couple on the channel actually i go to their shops you know i try to sell my my sneakers depending on the you know use or not and they more often than not they try to lowball you depending on who you are and you know how do you look that's just the honesty of things but if you're really on top of your sneakers and you know what they go for like let's say a union four that just dropped if you go to consignment shop they offer you 400 dollars. that's you know it's more than retail but if you're really on your sneakers you'll know those unions right now cost more than 400 and eventually maybe close to 850 900 a year from now and then of course there's stock x like everybody knows they have that 9.5% fee and then an extra 3% fee, which is really taxing after the initial price you agree on. So that's what you see in the screenshot where I have the, the Guava Union 4s. My ask is a thousand. So after the 9.5% fee and then the extra 3%, it'll be around 875 where I actually take home. So that's why on StockX, I just, you know, try to sell one of those, you know, high bees sneakers or high bees clothing because I try to overprice it because of all the fees but if it wasn't for the fees then I think it'll be much lower but I'll be able to take more home so when it comes to reselling it's a tricky situation because yeah on one hand you can make hundreds of thousands of dollars depending on the quantity you sell but you can also run into a lot of obstacles especially when it comes to who you're reselling or where you're reselling the sneakers or streetwear whichever you do especially when it comes to these actual like consignment shops i know like i said earlier you know depending on who you are and your parents they might you know lowball you and you just have to be on top of your sneakers because most yeezys like if you go to a consignment shop and try to resell your sneak yeezys more likely than not they'll be over retail unless they're one of those you know mass produced colorways so they offer you 200 for the Yeezys and it's like a bread 2.0 more often than not they're not $200 resale so I hope this more or less gave you you know the in and outs of the reselling game so you know 
where or how to resell them make sure you got the the bang for your buck make sure you're not getting low ball ripped off just you know keep aware of the pricing depending on the shoe you have like i said the most easy is going to go on the retail and someone offers you one the retail it's most likely a low ball price so make sure you don't get low ball make sure you cash out make sure you get as much money as possible and that's basically the point of reselling honestly and if we're being honest here yes i have been low ball um a couple times when i went to sell my sneakers and there's times where you know you'll just take it because the shoe is either a brick or it's not gonna go for more than they're offering so you'll just sell it just get it off your hands but like i said i hope the information helped i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next one